What's going on, everybody? Give us just one moment. We're just getting our food, and then we'll get started. All right, we're good to go. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Chum Zone. Glad to see you guys are here. I know this one was random, but we wanted to get our thoughts together in regards to the interview that took place recently. And we wanted to give you guys genuine, genuine reactions to everything that has taken place for this. So with that being said, um, we saw snippets of it from other channels and they were giving their opinions. So we want to watch it for ourselves and we want to give our personal thoughts on it as well. Ashley, you're reading because, you know, subtitles. So with that being said, if you want, did you want your headphones or are you good? Oh, I mean, yeah, I can. So, what do you mean I'm reading? I'm reading out loud? No, no, well... Oh, I didn't think anybody wanted me to read out loud. <laughs> More so because of the subtitles for Takashi What's since he's Japanese. Up? Um, it's low. Oh. See, now I've got All sensitive right. ears. Of course. So, let's see what Takashi's talking about. Is that good? Yes. Just a key note, we're gonna be uh, eating. You might eating. have to minimize us a bit. Yeah, because of the subtitles. Or put us at the top. Yeah. Okay. 
of a higher level of freedom. That was the purpose for beginning this project. After completing Sonic Forces, we brainstormed on the game that we want to make next. We thought about the linear game, our ability to develop. Like, I'm sorry, just to, just to, from what he specifically said right there, when he's talking about feeling limited. My question is specifically with the team. How do you, how do you go from literally from unleashed colors, generations, I, I've said this multiple times. How do you go from those games and then you go backwards with forces? We'll continue. Hmm. あの、ま、先ほどお話ししましたように、え、このプロジェクトのま、アイディアのあの、要因がリニアなコンテンツ。トニックのtdアクションゲームをいかにあの自由度の高いものにするかっていうところで我々の考えたのがこのオープンゾーンという新しいゲームオープンゾーンシステム Open Zone System You mean Sandbox? I'm fairly certain this is just Sandbox So it's, it's not a, fully a, open if, In a way you can say this is similar to Adventure I like how they show Legend of Zelda He knew, I t I've said it multiple times He loves, they love Legend and of Zelda Elden Ring So this part of the interview is just the same old, same old. He's just explaining the tech, I guess, the ideas and concepts behind the design. And we understand, you know, open world. Like, we understand open zone, I guess. It really is just sandbox because the open world implies that the entire world is open. But if you have zones, it's literally just sandbox. You have a certain, you have a set zone that you explore and then you teleport to the next one. Typically through loading screen. And that's where the cyberspace comes in. It's just big sandbox. あの、ま、島で探索することがま、このトニックフロンティアの楽しみの一つなんですけども、ま、3Dアクションをしたり、その島を探索して何を発見するかっていうことですね。え、この島にはこのトニックフロンティアにはま、様々なあの、I still feel that RPG vibe. Puzzle solving. See, here's the thing. I would be okay if Frontiers had different gameplay from the standard Sonic gameplay of point A to point B linear path. Again, if the world felt like Sonic. The world does not feel like Sonic at all. This again it feels, feels like, like a, a bad attempt at Breath of the Wild. Yes. I was I was literally about to say that. Like where you know, where's the rocking out music, you know? And Sonic doesn't always have to be rock music, but at least fit let's the bill. take let's take Sonic Adventure for example. You know, there was the overworld music for the city, mm. and then there was the overworld music for Mystic Ruins, which had more of a African vibe going on there, African Native American thing going on there. 
you know you can make environmental music that fits but still fit in with the tone of sonic you know this little classical piano orchestrated crap i shouldn't call it crap because it's nice it's pretty but this is uh this is legend of zelda elden ring I don't think there's anything wrong with Sonic's long quills. Yeah, actually, we prefer the long quills. But that's the thing. Kingdom Hearts isn't really open world either. Kingdom Hearts is from point A to point B. Just open space to explore. Yeah, I would argue that Kingdom Hearts is like open. I'm pretty sure it's just sandbox. Like zone. large sandbox. Okay. So the upbeat music is specifically for the cyberspace levels and the Hold up, wait, 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 wait. Are you trying to go back? Let me make sure I wasn't tripping when he Sorry guys, I wanna Wait, I don't know if you guys can see that, but Sonic fans from 30 years ago are adults now. Why are we? <laughs> A few years ago, didn't he specific? Didn't wasn't it out there that he was specifically going for the kids? Yep. Or Sonic was for kids or yep. some. This is kind of a part of the problem, um, and the fan base takes blame in this because I remember we arguing with people about this, and I was like, Sonic is never just for kids. Sonic back in the 90s was always geared towards uh, everybody. everybody, and you know, maybe not old people, but small kids, big kids, like, you know, 10-year-olds, 11-year-olds, 12-year-olds, teenagers, especially teenagers, and young adults. That was the target audience for Sonic, you know? Because Sonic was supposed to be, you know, a cartoon, but a cool cartoon. He was the cool one. He's literally a shonen. Yeah, he's a shonen. And as you can tell from anime, um, young adults, <laughs> you know. I'm just saying. And like... old farts like myself and chums over here uh, appreciate shonen. You know, we grew up on shonen we and we still up... like it being in our near 30, 30s. Um, so now he's finally saying Sonic fans from 30 years ago are adults now. And it's like... You should have been this, I'm glad been, had you, this ideal from the get-go. Right, exactly. I'm glad that you acknowledge that your Sonic fans finally grew up. But, you know, we because he had this bad ideology beforehand, it led to those really cartoony, colorful, babyish games. Lost World. Uh, I'm sorry, I did not like colors. Yeah, sad AM was dark. Yeah, exactly. Like that stuff was not always sunshine and rainbows, you know? And the idea that kids can only have happy and rainbow and sunshines is wrong. Does everybody remember 90s Disney? Mufasa died by falling off a cliff. <laughs> Like, it's okay to show Judge Claude kids. Frollo from the... The Hunchback of Notre Dame was a dark movie, okay? It's okay. It's okay to be a he little... He tried dark. to rape. <laughs> rape Esmeralda. Like, hello? <laughs> this was 90s Disney. And 90s Sonic now was not that dark, but was no better. Does anybody remember Tarzan and Clayton? Like, you can see the shadow of him hanging from a tree. Mm. Hell, Ursula was killed with a spear through her chest. <laughs> Does nobody remember this? So, if us from the us 90s babies and, and 90s kids, the 80s babies and 90s kids... Perfectly. could handle all of that why does people suddenly think that kids today cannot handle these dark things and getting trampled thank you mm. yes mm. Mufasa got his back trampled mm. by gazelles and antelope don't forget yes don't forget about Bambi good god all of us were traumatized because his mama got shot mm. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Okay, we can ha kids can handle dark themes. It makes you sad as a kid, but it's okay for kids to be emotional. They can be sad. They're supposed to know that shooting deer, you know, hunting deer can be a sad thing. You know, even if you're hunting deer for sport or hunting deer for food, 
It's still sad. It's that's a, a life that's still being extinguished. It's okay to cry. It is okay to cry. Oh my god, the fox and the hound hmm. to this day makes me cry. Because <laughs> Todd didn't know he was being abandoned. He sat there and looked at her so sad. He was like, wait, what's going on? Mom! Where I'll are do, you going? I'll do you even one even better uh, than Sonic X. Sonic OVA. Like, the whole concept behind Sonic versus Metal, that was a whole anime fight within itself. Like, I don't For know. For real. It, it's time to... It's time, I'm glad he's acknowledging it now, though, because you need to get it together, my boy. <laughs> just, just a little bit. Yes, that's true. Yes. The movie's brought in a whole bunch of kids. Now here's the here's the here's the problem. You can't appeal to both. You can't to be appeal to everyone. You and can that, appeal to both, but you can't appeal to everybody. There's going to be some fans. And that's the problem that, with forces. Yeah. Forces try to appeal to everybody. It tried yeah. to appeal to classics. It tried very badly to appeal to the story folk slash adventure folk. Yeah. Because it was Pontac and Graf and they can't write. That yeah, yeah. That's where they messed up. It's like they should have ended their contract. Like, yeah, you're not doing it for us. And, and contract ended. And modern fans, but we see how that turned out since Here's keep... the problem. You can appeal to fans of different ages, but you cannot appeal to classic fans, adventure fans, modern 2.5D boost fans. All in, in one, one package, game. like so. No. Yes, age wise, you can appeal to everybody, but gameplay style wise, no, you got to pick one gameplay style or for that well, game. for that game. Yes, you can cycle back and forth, like you can make a classic game one year, an adventure game another year, and a, a boost game and, and they another do year. and they do and that, but don't do that. that in your one game. They yes, literally made Sonic Mania for second. that very reason, and then you go and do a modern game, and then you spend spit all this stuff in there and put no shine to it oh don't forget the x games logo from extremely goofy movie don't remember 9 11. uh yeah wait what just the stuff that kids went through that, oh yeah you know, yeah, yeah, was... yeah that's valid yeah at least he's finally understanding his audience that i do agree <laughs> so yeah sonic origins is coming we all June's know. gonna be fun it's gonna be a fun time yeah. I will be replaying these. We'll get through them fairly quickly. Because we played the Origins like to our death. Veterans will find a new and exciting. You better bring your A game. Darn it. Title by title base. Wait, I want to go actually go back to that. What does he mean? Yeah, just 10 seconds or so. Maybe, maybe five seconds. Yeah. Moving forward on a title by title basis, we will focus on these target audiences and deliver games for those fans. Like the Frontiers or you little shit say get an SA3. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get to the SA3 part yet, but I actually want to focus on this because I think a lot of people missed this. We're moving by a title by title basis and we focus on these target artists and deliver games to those fans. So when he says title by title, does that mean that he is going to cycle gameplay style? Because it says title by title and we're going to deliver to target audiences. We you literally know? just talked about this. That's, that's I know, but, it's, it, but now I know, it's, it's just like, interesting that but now that he's saying this, is that actually what we're doing? Because that would be great. That's all I've been asking for for like the past 10 years. Like give all the fans different stuff. So that way everybody is pleased, but don't put everything in one title. You know, you got to separate it. Right. So here we go. I would like to continue the Sonic Adventure series at some point. We had adventure fields, which were smaller open spaces. Yes. Oh boy. All right. Dude, did you? Did you? Mm. Uh, I hope so. 
Pause. <laughs> she's already she's well, already about to me. go I'm, in. I'm eating. I'm sorry. I'm hungry. <laughs> do you want me to go first? You can go first. Uh, he wants to do this shit, but he can't even get 3D down pack yet. One. Two. You need to remake your shit. I'm sorry, guys. You need to remake your stuff. No, do not. Uh, he has to because Here's if the he thing. doesn't. The fact that he's, he's putting Sonic, tarnish. the fact that he's putting Sonic Frontiers in the same sentence as Sonic Adventure tells me this man does not know what makes the Sonic Adventure. Sonic Frontiers, so far from what I'm seeing, is absolutely nothing like the adventure game. There, are, where are the multiple characters? They're all locked up so we can have Sonic only. Sonic only is classic gameplay. Mm -hmm. That appeases the classic fans. That is not adventure gameplay. If you do not have the other characters, you're already failing on a, a major aspect of adventure games. He yeah. goes on adventure with his friends, yeah. not by himself. Yeah. So without the other characters, they're locked up by the aliens, including Shadow and including Knuckles, two powerhouses on par with Sonic. Every The, the powerful characters even got their butts locked up, yeah. which means, again, they're nerfed. So. Those motherfuckers must have gotten jumped or something <laughs> in their sleep. So, you know, we're missing the characters. Um, we're missing the music. I still don't know about the story. You know, I'm trying to... I'm trying to we're, we're trying to have trying, faith in Ian. I'm trying not to jump to conclusions here. Izuka knew what he was doing here. Yeah, he know. Yeah, he, he you, see my, you see my uh, thumbnail. That was the, in case of emergency, talk about the adventure games. That's literally what he's doing. Damage control. He may not... Okay, so he may mean ambitions, but... I, I, I don't know. It sounds like, you know, it sounds like he's comparing the two titles and it's too soon to be comparing like front. Like, OK, you know what? The game's not out yet. But from what I'm seeing, Sonic Frontiers is not an adventure game. You're already missing the you're already missing the catchy music. You're already missing the characters. We still don't know about the story. The story could be adventure esque, but that would be like, the only thing. The gameplay isn't even like really adventure. Just because it's open world does, and free roam does not make it adventure, guys. You know, open world gameplay does not just mean adventure. And that's where because this play is like forced. Because I've seen a lot of people, I've seen a lot of people get hype, and it's just like calm down. Just because he mentioned adventure doesn't mean <laughs> we're gonna be jumping through the hoops and saying it's the best game ever. So as soon as he said event, adventure, everybody is all all of a sudden excited for Frontiers when nothing has been shown yet. And they are. And even now with the uh, yeah, summer. People got baited. It's bait. Like people have fallen. People now, line a sinker. Yeah, exactly. Like even right now, as we speak, people are playing um, the demo. People are literally playing the demo and it's looks it still looks like forces mm -hmm. like i've seen snippets of people playing the game and it literally looks like forces it's blurry but hey what's up guys to all those who just came in we what are up, just, mario we decided to finally have our talk about the izuka interview and about the sonic adventure 3 bait yeah, adventure is just the namesake. Exactly. Yeah. Don't, exactly. Yep. Yeah. Don't put the name in there if you're not going to be because true to what you've done. Because a lot of people think that if a game is open world and the the um Sonic's gameplay mechanics are like 3D, you know, it's 3D. It's open. It's open. I shouldn't even say open world because the adventure games are not open world. It's open. It's 3D. Um, and Sonic is free roam. That that's adventure. And it's like that's not it. First of all, Frontiers doesn't even have the physics of adventure. Right. It doesn't even have physics. It doesn't have anything at all. You, there's no momentum. You know. But it's not. But that's not all that makes adventure. Adventure is known for its spectacle. You know, Sonic uh, skateboarding through the sea, the streets in City Escape. Uh, Sonic rail grinding in the middle of a mountain somewhere. You know. There, there's, there's more to adventure than just Sonic moving in an open space. That was it. And again, his friends are very, very important as well. That was it. So, yeah. So, I... As I have always dreamed of Sonic Adventure 3, but I do not want Izuka touching the adventure. I don't want him remaking or remastering or doing anything with the adventure titles 
unless he gets the 3D down gameplay packed. right. Like he has to have it down packed. There's there's no way he can do something like that so soon. Because to me, they don't understand. They they haven't even made like a really good Sonic 3D, and I mean full 3D, not 2.5D. Okay, they mastered the boost era in our honestly uh, unleashed generations. No, generations is when they mastered it. I guess. Yeah, that like literally. But generations. that is not full 3D. That is 2.5D. They have not yet mastered Sonic in full 3D. So I don't want them touching the adventure games until they do. Which is valid. It's only yes. SA2 is only an adventure game because it has some continuity with the first game. Yes, yes. And that's the other question. Are they going to... Well, ah, I don't want to get into specula yep, speculation. Has, so yeah, the Frontier so far has the physics of... Actually, it doesn't even have the physics of Sonic Unleashed or Colors in Generations. Because even they have momentum. For this it's, game this has no momentum. Forces. This is straight forces, my people. This is straight forces. Yeah. Hey, so, man. you know, they, they got a... If the only way it's adventure is if they literally took... The physics and gameplay and controls of SA1 and SA2 and applied it here. But so far, they didn't. They just took it straight from Forces. It's a copy and paste. They even copy and pasted the model. <laughs> They're gonna do adventure on the Force physics engine. <laughs> don't curse us like that. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't want to hear about Forces physics engine. That's gross. That's gross. I yeah. will give Azuka this. Making boost levels is mentally and physically exhausting. That's the biggest bottleneck with these games. He has a point. He does have a point. I've seen I've seen these guys, the mods, create the full... Uh, they did a full 3D. Um, but it's boost, right? It is boost, but it's 100% full 3D. That's tough. I know it's tough. 3D is not the easiest thing to program in. However, comma, you know, it's different when you're a modder and you have a, like a very minor team or you're doing it all by yourself mm -hmm. versus having, uh, well, I'm not going to say Sonic and Sonic, Sega and Sonic Team or AAA. Not anymore. But not anymore. <laughs> but it's different when you have an entire team. And you have the money. And, and, and you have your the money, money and resources the... to outsource more programmers, you know? Mm -hmm. That way they can take turns and that way you're not draining yourself. I mean, video game design is, is totally draining. I mean, you know, we've heard all the horror stories of of game studios where people are crunching and crunching it to meet deadlines but if it's, it, if, it's, it's still, if it's if you're not feeling it push it back yeah because most people you know rather than crunching it a lot of um studios now are they're like you know what let's just push it back or release a patch do something right sega is still killing themselves with these ridiculous deadlines and it's like you're the one setting the deadlines just don't don't set a deadline just do what you got. Push it back. Literally, do what you got. Breath gotta of the Wild do. got pushed back. How many times did Breath of the Wild get pushed back? I'm pretty sure. Kingdom it's... Hearts three got pushed back like 15 years. And you know what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't I mean, say it like that. You know what? Push it back. Just do it. Don't kill yourself. I have to agree. They should have remaked. If they want to remake a game, yeah, I agree. They should remake all six. Fix that one. <laughs> Fix that, and then you you can prove to me that you can fix 06 and make a solid 3D game, and then maybe just maybe I'd be okay with them touching the adventure games. She has a point. What happened? No, no, I was saying you oh. had a point. Mm. Oh yes, I thought you were reading somebody else's. It's just, but I also want to talk about how people are falling for this adventure bait. Because there's a lot of top YouTubers, top Sonic YouTubers specifically, who are falling for this bay and they're hype all of a sudden. It's like, you guys were bashing Sonic Frontiers, but now all of a sudden they mentioned Sonic Adventure 3 and they're, they're falling right forward. Hook, line, sinker. It's like, come on. Nothing's changed. You guys just heard the word Sonic Adventure 3 and you're going crazy. Yep. Breath of the Wild was supposed to be released in 2015. Got delayed twice. Exactly. Kingdom Hearts 4 is going to be... Oh my god, I cannot wait for Kingdom Hearts 4. Mm, give me that, Yuzor. <laughs> Calm down now. Calm down now. What? The Sprouse twins are my age. Wouldn't you like a third husband? Wait, what? Nothing. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. 
so I'd rather have Sonic Team switch to Unreal Engine 4 or 5 if it meant they'd have more time focused um polish and making the team not sweat balls. Exactly. I'd rather them push it back at this point. But they're not going to because they're so dedicated to their deadline. So what game is this? This is just somebody decided to create the Infinity Engine in an open world aspect. The only problem is, um, in my opinion, is that there is no sense of direction with there's no map. They want you to do a scavenger hunt and collect the seven Chaos Emeralds. This is massive. I but see. there is no map to give you like, hey, you're going into the into the wooded area there. You're not going into like. I, mean? I saw something glimmering over there. Oh, are those enemies? Yep. This is pretty much what Forces is. Now, this is excused because this is a fan game. Uh, someone clip that. <laughs> no, please. Never mind. Don't, don't clip that. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, this is excused because, again, this is a fan game. But this is what Frontiers looks like to me. Just barren wasteland of trees. The only with, thing they're missing the, are the, the aliens. With, with aliens and some springs. Here, exactly. Yeah. It's like this is what Frontiers looks like to me. It's like, where are the characters? Where are the NPCs? Where is the town? So this is supposed to be open world. Actually, where are, let where's me, the set piece? Actually, let me get out of this, because I actually want to go to Twitter, because somebody actually found some clips of Sonic... Frontiers? Frontiers. Is it something that goes beyond what we've already seen? <sighs> Is this still hey. that same coastal island? Hey. Yeah, it did. That, so what he just played did really, yeah, it really looked real. But yeah, let, let's see this. Let's, let's see this. Let's see what did they go into some game files or something? What, did they hack no. the demo? No, 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 no. It's just people trying to get clips of some of the gameplay segments. They're trying very hard, but every time someone tries to get a little something... Two seconds. Every time someone tries to get a little something, they're like, ah, that, that, that. Okay, so that looks like Green Hill Zone. Why well, get a pass, though the world is empty, too, in a way? Um, well, here's the thing. At least, you know, it's empty, but at least there's some freaking ruins. They don't <laughs> even give us ruins. At least from what I'm seeing, you know? There's ruins. There are NPCs that walk around the world. Um, and there's a story, you know, that kind of explains, like, there was an apocalypse, you know? I'm a Sonic fan, and I'm not bashing Frontiers. <laughs> but it's going to be a long month of June, so there still is going to be a lot more content for this game coming out. But I also want to answer, because so Breath of the Wild is a Legend of Zelda game. The Legend of Zelda is a medieval style theme and let's face it medieval if you remember medieval europe it was pretty barren there were castles and you know there were maybe some towns but you know back in the what 1400s 1300s 1200s there weren't major cities like there are today there was you know there was just rural. there was just everything was rural everything was country there were horses and unicorns and shit so blue vivid city made a mock-up so Breath of the Wild, kind it's okay if it's empty and rural and country and NPCs and stuff. But with Sonic, Sonic, so as far as we know, takes place in the modern era. So, you know, I'm expecting modern era set pieces, you know? Or if this is some forgot long lost island, okay, but where are the ruins? Where, where are the NPCs? It's just the people are trying. It's literally so just Sonic. Hot. Okay, Sonic obviously. That died. is very, very blurry. blurry. But obviously, so, Sonic died right there. Twenty bucks infinite is involved. I mean, I wouldn't mind that if they brought him back and redeemed him. Yeah. Uh, that was such a waste of a character. But instead, they killed him off. They did kill him officially. Uh, in the um, uh, hello. I can't do. I can't control Twitter. <laughs> I can't control Twitter. But um. Well, do they have like a hashtag that you can follow? What? For Sonic Frontiers footage. I thought that's what you were looking at. I thought you were looking at the, uh... There you go. Did you say, oh, my favorite MPs are the ones from Sonic Unleashed? I can see that, yeah. There you go. 
Cutscene from Sonic Frontier is very blurry. I'm like, I even know the people are all I know is All I know is, all we know is his I know died. somebody, I know they're complaining. They're like, what the hell did you film this on a potato? <laughs> Yo, so many people are trying so hard to get some type of footage, and I don't blame them. Like, they're, this is the most we've gotten from the people instead of IGN and, like, Sega. Why are they... Why? Why are they trying so hard to hide it? So that looks like Green Hill Zone. Again. <laughs> yeah, our gun. I don't know. So wait, I, I do want to talk about that though because so they're in a zone that looks like Green Hill Zone. Maybe that's where Sonic starts. Maybe that's the first, you know, because as far as we know, in most of the games, at least the classic games, Green Hill Zone is Sonic's home. Right. So, Frontiers fans agreeing that the marketing is horrible. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, it what, is horrible. Like, what's happening? Why is it so secretive? And why is it so... Brief look at a cutscene. Yeah. It's like, if you want to market this game, you need to advertise it properly. Because the way they're advertising this right now, I don't want to buy it. It's like they're so secretive, it's like they're ashamed. Like, why are you hiding? What are you hiding? I don't know. I digress. Are you guys excited for this, genuinely? I can or say, are you, like, I'm not, because the, the marketing side? shows us nothing. You know, that uh, I'm just talking for myself. They don't show us anything, and everything that they show is either alpha build, I still don't know if it is or not, but it's empty. It's like, I need to see something. <laughs> something with context. Not wasting my time on Frontiers, I'll stick with Origins if some, yeah, until something changes. Right. Now, again, they're showing, like, a Green Hill Zone-looking world, and it looks nice. You know, from the tiny little bit that we can see, <laughs> could you blow that up or something? Uh, yeah, but... It's literally two seconds, but I mean, if you can look at that, I mean, it looks nice. It's not gonna be voiced by Ben Swartz in this game. Nope. Or Haley Joel Osment. <laughs> mm. I wish he was voiced by, you know... Yeah. Mega ben Man Schwartz, Z95, ben he good. is mixed bags. So... We'll play it by ear. Bad. Yeah, and that was a big old piece of glitchy mess the first time it came out. Yeah. I remember I was watching Dark Spine Sonic play Sonic, uh, Sonic Colors Ultimate, and his game crashed. Oh, and he it's still almost. Rotter. And he almost, he almost lost his footage and his gameplay. So, <sighs> this franchise, y'all, this franchise. You know what? If Frontiers comes out and it's actually decent, then I'll eat my words. It's like, oh, okay, it's actually good. We want to eat our words. Yeah, I, I don't want the game to fail. I just feel like it's going to fail based on what I'm seeing. But this doesn't mean that I want the game to be, like, trash. I'm hoping that I am pleasantly surprised when it comes out. Like, oh, it's good! Just like the movies! And we were all worried that the movie was set, and then they fixed it. I want that! Because I'd be, I'd be so willing to support them. Like, oh, they, they did a good job! I'm impressed. Maybe now you guys can actually do something with the adventure games. I trust you. I want to trust Saga. At this stage... I haven't trusted them in years. And, you know, I have to double back on that because mm -hmm. may, I, hopefully, Takashi knows what he's talking about and he can back up what he's saying because, once again, and I have to reiterate this, the movie brought in a ton of new fans. Yeah, it sure did. So now is your opportunity to sh put up or shut up. Mm -hmm. Am I wrong? Nope. You have a you have all of the attention right now of a lot of fans and a lot of people. HMK is watching like HMK from Kingdom Hearts. All he does, all he breathes is Kingdom Hearts, and he has your attention. You have his attention. Like 
Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy, and Legend of Zelda is all he talks Casuals. about. Casuals. Casuals have your attention. Have your atten you got their attention. Yeah, I saw Alana, uh, Alana Pierce. Alana Pierce. There's some top YouTubers Casuals. who are Casuals. Top YouTubers looking. are watching you. And again, they you're, you got everybody's attention. You're at the point. You are have the potential to be one of the big boys. You know? We shall see. So you know what my theory is now? They did put up a lot of into put a lot into the marketing, and maybe there's so much that it is supposed to be revealed by various games news gaming news outlets, and that's why we don't have much. <clears throat> like maybe they're going to be dropping info throughout the next two months. I can see I can see that. Well, they said more to come. Like, I'm assuming that the anniversary, which is June 22nd, or to June 23rd. I love Gamer's Joy! He's my boy! He's my boy! We all, we watch him too. His reactions to certain situations. Like, that man flew back on his chair and almost hurt himself. <laughs> uh, yeah, his reactions are top tier. But, um, I, I'm anticipating, you know, but I, another thing I also want to talk about that I almost forgot is the baiting. Like, you know, we were all kind of led to believe that June 9th, you know, Sonic would make an appearance at Summerfest, and what nothing happened? happened except the interview. Oh, wait, before I forget. <clears throat> um. Yes, I have heard of Char Chari. I still don't know how to say his name, but I Chari heard Chari Five? Him. Yeah, him. He did, he did the parodies. Yes. The, uh, everything wrong with. Yes, I know. Um, 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 not that one. Oh yeah, did we talk about Sonic Prime? No, we didn't really get a chance to look at. Hold up. I'm gonna switch it back. Put you down here. And we didn't even get a chance to take a look at this yet. No, so... I agree with you, Mario. Like. Other games are all being, like, this was technically E3 time, but because E3 got canceled, you know, they're doing Summerfest, or they're having their own directs, and everybody's revealing stuff now, and then here's, you know, Sega's Sonic team. It's like, it's like now is the time for them to compete with other people, you know, during this E3 season. Oh, big actually like, you didn't know, sound like a dope. Maybe. Uh, and that's fine. I'm okay with this. I'm happy with that too. I didn't want him to sound special. <laughs> Wait, who commented on Kobe's channel? HMK? Because I wouldn't be surprised because HMK was friends with Etika <clears throat> and he may have interacted with Kobe at some point. It's like Sonic Prime is revealing all the characters as Smash characters. Like. <laughs> That's and, accurate. Like, every time we see a new character, we literally saw Shadow, we literally saw Big. Who's next? Who's who's gonna be in the Big Who's your favorite reveal? Shadow the Hedgehog voice actor? Hmm. Jason. Jason. Jason's literally the only... Now, I think oh his name God. is David. The only reason I even liked Shadow the Hedgehog the game was God. because of Jason. His voice. Ugh. Oh. It's like, God damn, why you gotta be a hedgehog, man? <laughs> calm down. Sorry, calm, 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 I was a, calm, look, calm I was a little girl back then, okay? I had... It, but I was like... I'll give it to, uh, I think his name is David Humphrey. I like David. David, he, David, you know, David I guess, much, first. yeah, he was the first, so much respect to him. But, but Jason, Jason... Oh, you two fantasi fantasizing about Jason? Calm down. No, 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 no. I have others, but no. <laughs> you mean Peter St. Patrick? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I know. Oh. <laughs> Here's a big what if. What if these added cutscenes to the Sonic Origins? Hmm. Where we got confirmed ray tracing lead into forces. I wish they would not. I'll take Boom Shadow. Really? Really? I respect it. 
I, I, I respect him for doing what he's got to do. You got this, Sonic. Ugh. He sounds like a snake. Ugh. Which is so crazy because he's one of the cage. He's a cage. Uh, he's Sykes. For Sykes. <laughs> And like he, he does it, so he's well. so good. He does it so well, but and then Kingdom when we Hearts, go to Shadow, Shadow he because just because that's the, it's not the actors or actresses, it's the voice director. The voice director tells them to sound like that. They're like, make it sound like this, and so they do what they're told, and then the characters sound crazy. Actually, I just thought of an awesome idea, guys. So fun little fact about my wife: she has not heard or seen. Sonic and Tails are the one with M U M E. Oh yeah, I haven't. So maybe next time we do a live stream. Right now it's about Sonic Frontiers, but maybe we'll do a live stream of all the episodes and let her hear Ryan, Jason, everybody that's in the uh in what, the uh, radio a live stream yeah so just can... so you can just so we can hear how great they sound and you're fangirling over ryan for some i love reason, ryan. for some ryan strange is, reason ryan is bae if only scott would come back if scott came back scott scott or like ryan's here but scott scott scott, is, scott is my man he just doesn't realize it <laughs> No, now. Wait, you want this now? We'll do... Well, we're going to a festival after this shortly. Right, we got a festival to go to, so... <laughs> All right, well, may okay, well, since you guys seem to want this, then maybe one of our next live streams is uh, me watching it, and I'll react. Yep. Uh, tell, let me, just let me know when Scott joins, because Scott. Did Scott? I don't remember. Did Scott ever join? Because I don't if think he so. Did, no, I Dave, be... David Humphrey was. Well, Dave, I would fangirl for. Jason, I would fangirl for. Ryan, I'm I would pretty confident for. it was David that was doing knuckles. Oh, he probably took over for him. Yeah. Bye. So, we got something to look forward to. This will be a good time. All right. Get your popcorn over. and all that greatness. But um, right. <laughs> All right, guys. I think it's safe. Dang. Oh, is that because I said that? Yeah. yeah. Scott is my wife. He just doesn't know it. Yeah. Yes. It's psycho it's woman. Woof. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. There's a delay, so we're now responding to your comments. <laughs> Love it. All right, people. I think it's safe to say that we're done here. We are. The nothing has changed in regards to the attitude towards frontiers. It's just gonna be the whole throughout until uh, until I'm this hoping, bad boy comes I'm out. I'm hoping for better, but we'll have to see. We'll have to play by ear. We'll see. Sonic Cage crossover. I'm all for it. But that would be a very Disney would have to buy what would, Paramount. Key, what would what would be the Keyblade? Hmm, that Keyblade would look very nice. Well, I guess we better get going because we got to get to our festival real quick. As always, it's a pleasure. Like, comment, let us know what you think. This is Chumba. And Ashley. We are out. Bye.